<laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to get a cheap and reliable RPC node for base. And then I'll show you how to use it in ethers, how to do some commands. And also I'll highlight some of the deficiencies of the node and how to fix them as well. So first and foremost, let's go to Morales.io. Here is where you sign up. And when you sign up, you get to this admin page, you go to nodes. So when you first log in, you'll see something like uh, this. But then you go to nodes right here. And you will see something like this. You will have to create a node here first. So you can select protocol, in this case, base. And then whether you want mainnet or you want uh, testnet, Sepolia. And uh, you click create node. And you're going to get something like this. You have two sites, basically for reliability. That you have site one, site two. So you can be reliable in your app. First and foremost, you copy this uh, uh, this uh, node URL because you will need it very, very soon. Now, Morales nodes are very cheap, very reliable, probably the best in business. And uh, you have all kinds of network support. This is the main thing. You have all kinds of networks. And um, then also you have the APIs, which are a great supplement to the node, as you will soon see. Now, first and foremost, what do we do? Let's use this thing. I have a project here in um, uh, in Node.js. Uh, you can obviously use any programming language, any library with, um, like this RPC you can use across any programming language library, but in this um, tutorial, I'll show you how to use it with Node. So first and foremost, you get the ethers, very good. Next, you initialize a provider, like so. A new provider, JSON RPC provider, and you enter your URL. So here is where you copy this one, and then you enter it here. Very good. And now we can start uh, calling this node. So for example, I can do like this. I can call the current uh, block number. Let me go here and let me run this um, app here. And what do we see? We see this uh, 6994. Now we can compare it, of course, to the actual blockchain. Uh, let's refresh here. Let's see. Uh, let's, go, let's just go here. This is the last blocks, uh, 949. Let's actually refresh our app like so. Now we have 953, the last block is here, and yeah, it's the same as last block in um, in uh, base scan. So as you can see, super simple. Everything works in real time. Everything is super good. Now, uh, let's do some more stuff. Let's, um, instead of just uh, uh, getting the block, let's get some information about an address. So in this case, I'm looking at Vitalik's wallet. Let's get his balance. Let's get his balance, uh, which is ETH on base. How many ETH this uh, wallet has on base. It's very simple to get. Let me open this back up. We do like this. We have Vitalik's address here. Uh, and then we call provider get balance. And then the, this uh, uh, JSON RPC provider will call the node that you have in Morales and is going to get the balance of Vitalik. Let's save this. And uh, let's uh, call it. As you can see, we get this thing, 5287. Now, this is in uh, way, so this is his ETH balance, but in way. And it's like a lot of decimals. Uh, but you can convert it to ETH in an easy way. Let's actually see, does it have here way in an easy manner to transform into way? It should be super simple, yeah, here. Parse ETH, uh, uh, strings in Ether to way. And let's see, format we need convert a value in way to a string. Exactly, let's do like this, format ether, like so. And then we go here, and then we go like this. Let's see if this will work, or if we need some ethers, something, something. Okay, like so, then open it up, bam, node, bam. And then, uh, oh yeah, it's probably ethers, not, yeah. Uh, Bam, there you go, programming live, and that's how it should be. Reading docs and programming live, there you go. So now it's 0 0.05 to uh, 5 to 8, blah, 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 which is, if you go to here, exactly like so. So we can get this number, very easy. Uh, we can get, basically, I mean, if you think about a node, you cannot get too much. Like you can get this number for a, for a wallet, for an address. Uh, can you get all of the uh, ERC20s is the next question. With a node, you can't. You, with a node, it's impossible. You can if you use Morales API. So right here, you have Web3 APIs, which is a supplement to the node. Because for example, with the node, again, you can get the ETH balance, but to get the token balances, you can, you can do it. So instead you can go here to the token API, 
and you can uh, use this endpoint right here. I will show you in the in a future video, but this is how you would do it. You would use Morales API to get token balances. And each wallet has basically three types of assets. You have the native um, gas token balance. This you can get from the node. Uh, token balances you cannot get from the node, but you can get them easily from an API with like all the metadata, like all the symbols, uh, the price and all of that. It's very easy. Uh, and then the third type of asset is NFTs, which also you cannot get from the node, like Ethers cannot give you that. But with Morales API, you can easily, easily get that as well uh, using um, uh, using the API right here. So you can go here and you can get NFTs, get NFTs by wallet, and you get them all as well with uh, all the metadata. So that's that. Mm, let me show you some more things you can actually do with the node. So you can get the... ETH balance of a specific wallet, you can also get the transaction count. Uh, so if we do like this and save, and then we run it, bam, like so. Uh, as you can see, it gives you three transactions. And you may be wondering, why is it three? Because on base scan, it is 39 transactions. And the, the node can just give you number of transactions which are outgoing. And then if you go here, you see that this is this address has done three transactions outgoing, and that's it. The node cannot give you like all the other stuff. Instead, if you go here to uh, to Morales API, you go to Wallet API, you can get the wallet history like this, and yeah, and here you get everything in chronological order. All of the token transfers, all of the internal transactions, all of the NFC transfers, all of the ERC-20 ERC transfers, and so on and so forth. So this is, I mean, basically, this is like getting your own version of like Xerian or Zapperify, any kind of portfolio app with one API call like this. With the node, it's a bit tough to get, but with API, you can easily get it like so. We will be having more videos in the future about the API. I'm just showing you the node. And the node is great for like raw data. It can give you some raw data, but for anything where you need more insights about the wallet, it becomes uh, it becomes tougher. It is great, like the node is great for uh, you know fetching block number, fetching specific transaction, and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, the capabilities to and it's raw data basically the node you use for raw data, uh, and also for signing like sending transactions you can do it as well when you when you have a user signed transaction and then you want to uh, broadcast it on the net network node is great. But if you ever feel that there is something you cannot do with the node. You go from this tab and then you go bam to Web3 API and here likely you're going to find a solution. Somewhere here you're going to find a solution. On this note, guys, on this note or node, <laughs> on this note, guys, I hope you understand how to get a node for your base project. Hope you're going to be successful with your base project. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you as well in our Discord. Check the link below. Hope everything works out. Uh, don't hesitate to ask us in Discord, by the way. And uh, yeah, enjoy your day. Have a good, good day and goodbye, guys. Smash the like, subscribe, and goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.